Okay, um, hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter two is Celsius to Fahrenheit temperature converter. Okay, so write a program that converts Celsius temperatures to Fahrenheit temperatures. The, form the formula is as follows. So this is the formula. The program should ask the user to enter a temperature in Celsius and then display the temperature converted to Fahrenheit. So the program is going to ask the user to basically enter a temperature in Celsius, in degrees Celsius. And then the program is going to calculate or display the Fahrenheit uh, equivalent of, of that. So it's going to convert that temperature, the degrees Celsius temperature that the user is going to type into a Fahrenheit temperature. Okay. All right. So the, the program should ask the user to enter a temperature in Celsius. So that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to ask the user to enter a temperature in Celsius. So let's do that. So I'm going to use the input function. And I'm going to ask the user to please enter a temperature in Celsius. So please enter a temperature in Celsius. Okay, so anything that the user types in this case is going to be converted in, with the input function. Anything that the, that the user types is going to be converted to a string. But we can't use strings in calculations. So we need to convert that string that the user types. Okay. Now, now the user can, can go ahead and type a number, okay? But the input function, the, the way it works is it's going to be converted, whatever the user types, even though it's a number, it's going to be uh, converted to a string. But we can't use strings in calculations. So we need to convert whatever the user types, even though it was a number, we need to convert it. Be because we use the input function, it's going to be stored or returned as a, as a string. So we need to convert whatever the user typed into a number so we can use it. So in this case, we're going to convert it into a float. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and call the float uh, the float function and the float function is going to go ahead and convert what a, what is it typed into a float. So I'm going to call the float function and surround everything that is typed into a float here. So I'm converting everything that is typed into a float. So I'm, I'm calling the float function and I'm surrounding everything that is a type with parentheses. Okay, so once we do that, we need a place to start. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable and I'm going to call it um, Celsius temperature. Okay, so this variable Celsius temperature is going to hold whatever the user types, the temperature that, that, the temperature that the user types, okay, converted to a float. And once we have the temperature that, that is a type in Celsius, we can go ahead and use it in this formula because this, it says it says that the, f the temperature in Fahrenheit is nine divided by five times C plus plus um, thirty two, where C is the temperature in Celsius. We we already have that, so we can use it in the formula. So now let's go ahead and create this formula. Okay, now F is going to stand for um, the temperature in Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go ahead and create a variable and I'm going to call it Fahrenheit temperature. Okay, so Fahrenheit temperature is not going to be equal to uh, this formula, okay? So nine divided by five. So I'm going to go ahead and type nine divided by five, space it out a little bit. I'm going to surround this with parentheses so that I, because I want that to take effect first. Okay, I'm, o I'm following the, o o the order of operation. So I want that to take effect first. So I'm surrounding that with parentheses. And then I'm multiplying by C, where C is temp the Celsius temperature. So I'm multiplying nine divided by five, okay, by the Celsius temperature. Okay, and I want all of that also in parentheses because I want all that calculation to take effect first. So within this calculation, this whole calculation, this is going to take effect first, and the result is going to be multiplied by Celsius temperature, all in parentheses. Okay, and then after after all this parentheses, all this calculation takes effect, I go ahead and add, and I add thirty two to it. So I'm going to go ahead and do plus thirty two. So that's going to basically give me the Fahrenheit temperature here. So now, now that I have that, all I, all I do is just print it out. Okay, so I'm going to call the print function, and I'll pass in Fahrenheit, Fahrenheit temperature. Okay, Fahrenheit 
temperature. Okay. All right. So now we're done. All I need to do is just run the program. So I'm going to debug it and save the file. Um, the computer is running slow. Save it. Okay. So desktop, Python. All right, I'll create a folder for that. <clears throat> Sorry, and I'll call it Celsius to Fahrenheit. Uh, I'll call it Celsius to Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, Celsius to Fahrenheit. I'll call it that. <laughs> I'm tempted to add uh, the whole string. Um, <laughs> let's why not? Temperature converter. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll create it and then I'll create this also as the same thing. All right. Okay, the pi. That was a long name, but you can you can make it short if you want. I like to just keep it the same as the question. All right, so I'll save it and run it. So please, let me just add something here. Okay, I'll stop it and I'll debug it one more time. <clears throat> All right, so please enter a temperature in, in Celsius. I'm going to enter 58 because I happen to know what the result is in in, um, in, in Fahrenheit. I think it's one three something point. All right, hit enter. Oops, uh, we have a problem. Okay, let's see. Fahrenheit temperature is not defined. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Let me stop it first. <coughs> Sorry. So Fahrenheit. Let me see how I spelt it and see if it's correct. Okay. So I spelt it. I spelled this with um with an e here, but I spelled this with an a here. So it the program doesn't know what this is. So I'm going to change this to an e, and debug it again and see if it says that. So 58. I happen to know it's about 130 something point something point four. I'm going to hit enter. Yeah, and and it's 136.4. You can go ahead and make this look good and say, um, and say this and say, um, Celsius temperature. Okay, I'm going to concatenate it to, uh, with a string and say Celsius temperature in Fahrenheit is, and I'm going to go ahead and concatenate that with this one. But the thing is, if you try to concatenate a float to a string and then to another float, if you try to basically con concatenate a, string, a float to a string, the program will say that it can't do that. It can't convert a float to a string implicitly. So we have to do it explicitly. We have to do it ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this float to a string. And I'll do that with str, the function str. And I'll surround this float with parentheses. So in other words, I'm converting this float to a string and concatenating to another string, which it shouldn't complain. It can do that. The program, can, the program can do that. So, or the interpreter can do that. So I'm going to concatenate. Oh, sorry, concatenate. Yeah, concatenate this string to this float. But but if you do that, the program will complain that it can do that implicitly. So that means we have to do it ourselves. So I'm going to go ahead and con and uh, and call the function str and convert to this whole Fahrenheit temperature. Fahrenheit temperature to a string. Space it out nicely. Okay, so that's one way of doing that. That's one way of do, of converting, you know, or printing everything here. Um, let's see. So the reason, as you can see, this string is crossing this line here, and I don't want that to happen. I want to try to keep 80 characters on a line, and that's why I have this, or that's why this line is there to serve as a guideline. So I want to go ahead and break this line here. So before I break it, I, I need to type in the backslash like this, and I'll hit enter. So I've broken it to a new line, and I broke it. I typed in the backslash before breaking it to a new line. All right. So this, this should work. So I'm going to go ahead and debug it and type in 58 again. Hit enter. Oops, it's a problem. Celsius temperature is not defined. Okay, so let's see how I spelled this. Okay, I spelled this with a C, and I'm, I'm using, stop it, and I'm using 
an S here. So I'm going to I spelled it the wrong way. So I'm going to change this back to an uh, to Celsius, the right spelling. I was um, C L S I U S, and then I'm using the right thing here too. So that should be fine. So I'm going to debug it one uh, one more time. Type in 58. Hit enter. Okay. Celsius temperature is not defined. Okay, let's see. Okay, I did the same thing here. So I need to change this also to let me stop it. Yes, so so that it looks the same as this and the same as this. Debug it again and um, type in 58. And now it says 58 in Fahrenheit is 136.4. Let me say 58 degrees in Fahrenheit is 136.4. Okay, so let me do this one last time. Type in 58. 58.0. <laughs> We'll put it for the space yeah but basically you can you can play with it and make it make it output output nicely so 58 degrees in Fahrenheit is 136.4 okay so that's one way of um, printing printing out something in the print in the print format but because for example if I type in a, a different number because we can get really a really long numbers for example we can get say 58.2564 I don't want we don't want that. We, we we can we can either we can keep it that way if we want to get the precise figure, but but we want to round it to a certain number so it looks neat all the time. So first, let, let me type in something like let's say four hundred and fifty six point five, and see and see that. So it says four hundred fifty six point five is eight five three point seven. In this case, it looks fine. I want a number where it's going to give me a lot of numbers after the decimal place. So. Let's try 46.785. Okay, so now we are getting we're getting 116.213. So in this in this case I want to run this to all to I want this to be to always display one decimal like a, a one one number after the decimal point. So I want to run it to one decimal place every time. So in this case th this wouldn't work, right? So another way to do this is I'm going to go ahead and take this away. And I'm going to take remove the str function. So I take it back to where it was before the arrow. So I'm going to remove this. All right. I mean, in this case, we, we are not really rounding Celsius temperature. So that's what is the type. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put the str function on that one. Okay. So that so that it can print. It, it can first convert this to a string and then concatenate it to this one. That's not a problem. So that so the program can print that. But this is the one I want to round to one decimal place all the time. So instead of using the str, I want to go ahead and format it. So I'm going to call the format function and surround it with parentheses. And the format function takes two arguments. The first argument is what you are converting. So the first argument is this. I'm converting the Fahrenheit temperature. And the second argument is how you want it converted. So I want it converted to first of all, first of all, it's a float. So I want it converted as a float. So I'm going to type F. So I want it converted as a float. So I'm typing F, and I want it converted to two decimal places. And I'm no, in this case, I want it one decimal place. Okay. So I'm going to type in point one, point one for one decimal place. Okay. So I want it formatted as a float, one decimal place, font point one, and that should be fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and debug this and type in 58. And it says 58 degrees in Fahrenheit is 136.4. Okay, so now let me type in something like, let's say, 67.5867. And see, see, uh, and see, even though we type in 67.5867, I'm sure this value is actually has more decimal places, you know, after uh, more, more, um, more numbers after the decimal point but because we've rounded it to one decimal place as a float we are only getting one decimal place we're only getting 153.7 so that's what i meant okay but at least you've gotten you've gotten to see the string function which converts uh, this float for example into a string and you've also gotten to see the format function so you know uh, I'm, I'm i'm glad i'm happy and we know how to we know at least two two methods for doing that <clears throat> okay so um yeah we're done we're done all right so thank you very much for watching if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything everything to respond to them take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time with the next program bye bye